The FBI is investigating whether Cuomo and the state of New York gave the Justice Department false nursing home data and a variant fuels an outbreak among nursing home residents, vaccinated or not. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, March 24th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are a CNA, consider attending our virtual March on Washington, April 7th. Registration is free and can be completed on our website at nakacna.org. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo is now facing a new federal inquiry stemming from the revelation that his office lied about the state's nursing home death data during the pandemic. The Federal Bureau of Investigation is investigating whether Cuomo, his aides, or the state's health department submitted falsified data to the Department of Justice following the agency's request for information last year, according to a report in the New York Times. DOJ's original probe in late August sought information from several states, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Michigan, that implemented similar con controversial policies that require nursing homes to admit infected patients. The current federal inquiry started within recent weeks of several of, with several of Cuomo's lawyers and senior officials being interviewed and subpoenaed for documents related to the August probe. Cuomo could face criminal charges if evidence finds that the state submitted false information to the DOJ. A lawyer representing Cuomo's office said in a statement that, quote, the submission in response to DOJ's August request was truthful and accurate and any suggestion otherwise is demonstrably false. Cuomo has been under severe scrutiny since the bombshell admission in February that state officials purposefully withheld nursing home virus data out of fear it would be used against them. A previously unidentified variant of the virus has infected both vaccinated and unvaccinated residents of a Kentucky nursing home, making clear that providers must remain vigilant about exposure even after most residents have been inoculated. The outbreak in eastern Kentucky involved 27 residents and 14 staff members as of last Tuesday. Five residents were hospitalized. State Public Health Commissioner Stephen Stack said 85% of residents and 48% of staff at the unnamed facility had been vaccinated prior to the outbreak. Among those infected, 30% of the vaccinated had been symptomatic since testing positive, but 83% of the unvaccinated residents have had symptoms. Stack said it appeared an unvaccinated person brought the variant into the building. Public health officials have warned about the virus's ability to mutate with some known variants less susceptible to vaccines given U.S. emergency use authorization. Federal advisor Anthony Fauci said Thursday that while the vaccines are effective against the quickly spreading British variant known as B117, the U.S. is witnessing a race between the vaccine and a potential surge in community infections. A group of leading infectious disease and vaccine experts earlier this week said federal and state officials must continue to prioritize seniors for vaccination to protect against an uptick in cases and mortality during a B117 field surge expected by the end of April. The CDC has also identified two new and concerning variants first detected in California, B1427 and B1429, which may be 20% more transmissible. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday.